I'm a firm believer that critical thinking is vital when we deal with trauma or adversities. I'm Sinta Eberson and I invite you to get up and grow with me. Critical thinking skills are very important because it affects the way we feel and see our traumatic experiences. It literally determines our perspective on what is happening to us or what happened to us in the past. And there are two tendencies when it comes to critical thinking that we need to be aware of. The first one is anchoring. That means that I am so convinced of my own opinion that I am stuck there. I am not prepared to listen to new information or take it in or even consider it because that would mean firstly that I would have to admit that there's a possibility that my idea or my position or point of view is incorrect and if I do that it would mean that I have to discard everything that I've done so far and literally start over from scratch. The other tendency is uh, confirmation bias and that means that we look for proof that confirms that we are correct. And I'm going to illustrate to you how this works in a relationship. Let's say we're having an argument, for example. If I'm anchoring, I'm so convinced that I'm right and the other person is wrong. I'm not really hearing what they're saying. I'm not really seeing their facial expressions and picking up on their body language. I'm not taking in any information that might lead me to reconsider my position. I'm right and I'm not reconsidering and I'm not admitting that anything about what I'm thinking and what I have said and what I have done might be wrong. When I'm constantly searching for confirmation, we become so biased that in an argument or a conversation, or even if we're having a, a, a challenge about something and we are by ourselves thinking about it or ruminating about the situation or what has happened, we are so hell-bent on winning the argument or being correct or be the one who knows better or taking the higher ground that we will literally search for that specific facial expression that's going to prove to me that I'm right. I'm literally going to search for and watch out for body language that's going to prove that I have the best opinion. And I'm going to, in everything a person says, says to me, in an argument, over the telephone, in an email, in a WhatsApp message, whatever, I'm going to pick and choose among the words, the ones that are going to confirm that I'm on the right track, that I'm going to win this argument, that I'm right and the other person is wrong. This is what we do. And that's what makes our relationships so difficult or one of the many things. So when I teach people to cultivate resilience while they are going through any kind of adversity, these are some of the basic building stones that we need to be aware of about ourselves. The moment we are aware of our tendency to anchor and our tendency to seek confirmation of our own bias, we have won half the war. We apply that, we are aware of it, we are constantly mindful of ourselves doing this in any interaction with other people and it makes the world of difference. I'm Sinta Eberson and I invite you to like this, share it and join me in my Get Up and Grow community. I'll see you there soon.